Okay, today we're going to talk about the geiger neutral uh, law. Uh, it's about nuclear physics. Um, so let's just state the law immediately, and that's that the natural log of um, the half-life of a radioactive series, which uh, emits um, alpha particles, is equal to uh, some constant times the kinetic energy of the alpha particle to the negative one-half power uh, minus another con arbitrary constant uh, that's dependent on the the radioactive series. Uh, here I write uh, tau is the half-life, kinetic energy of the alpha particle, A and B are constants dependent on the radioactive series. Uh, as examples of radioactive series, if you want to see uh, 84 um, a, uh, um, uh, polonium 84, uh, palladium uh, 88, uranium 92, and cadmium uh, 96. Uh, I'm sorry, polonium uh, pro Tactinium, uranium, and cur curium is this one. I'm sorry. I misstated that. It's a little bit late here that I'm doing these. As usual, I do these lectures very late at night, uh, just about before I go to bed. So uh, many mistakes. Uh, but hopefully every, everything that's written usually is right. Uh, but uh, anyways, um, so um, let's solve for tau here. Of course, a simple algebra uh, gives us this uh, tau for tau, um, and uh, and and let's take this equation again. Instead of solving for tau, we'll solve for the other uh, variable, and that is the kinetic energy, and we'll get this. If we do a little bit of algebra on this, uh, we'll get this right here. Okay. Now, of course, there's the um, um, amount of material that's uh, radioactive material that's left. Um, equals uh, the initial amount of radioactive material um, e to the negative uh, time that is elapsed natural log of two uh, all divided by um, I mean the the exponent uh, divided by uh, the half life right here. So what's interesting that we can do is um, right here for the half life uh, we can put the, plug this in the Geiger Newton uh, formula in here and we can get a new formula that's uh, dependent on um, uh, two variables this time. Uh, this one was only dependent on time, uh, but this one is going to be dependent on time uh, and the kinetic energy of the alpha particle. Okay? And then we can, of course, take the derivative of this and uh, 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 we can take the derivative of this and get the rate at which the, um, the, uh, the uh, material uh, uh, disintegrates at and the derivative of this, uh, fairly simple, is, uh, is equal to this right here. All right? So I just wanted to discuss the geiger uh law, which actually sometimes in recent, uh, in old books, it used to be quite prevalent in, uh, in the nuclear uh, physics uh, texts. Uh, nowadays, it's a little bit tougher to find, but you can find it out there if you want to type it up and learn something more about it. Thank you for watching the video. I look forward to any of the comments at the bottom. And... Um, um, have a good night.